Mom. Mommy. Mommy, come here. Mommy. Mommy. Mom. Mom. Mom, 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 mom. Hey, Dad. It can be really hard to try and juggle what you need to get done at home and also keep your child on task. It can be really hard when your child acts like they need a lot of support when you know very well that they can probably do a lot of those things on their own. So how do you handle it? the constant interruptions. Well, depending on their age, I have a little tip that might help. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a child life specialist with Thriving Play. We focus on helping families identify techniques that empower their kids and their teens. Have you ever used tokens that maybe like Tuck You Tees or another gaming arcade? You might think that they're only useful at arcades, but they are really useful at home too. Let's take the example we were talking about earlier, the child who keeps interrupting. You know that they can focus longer than they are right now. They just need a little bit of help. A lot of times they need a physical reminder. That's where the tokens come in. If you've got actual tokens at home, great. If not, almost anything works. I recommend something small. For example, even paper clips. You decide first, how many tokens your child gets. The older they are, the less tokens they need. So for example, maybe you have a preschool or a kindergartner, I would give maybe five to seven tokens. If you've got an older child, maybe in first or second grade, or even third or fifth if they need it, only give three tokens. And then decide when the tokens can be used. For example, maybe during a three hour period, or if they're younger, perhaps only during an hour period. Again, think about their attention span. Let's imagine that I have a first grader that keeps interrupting me as I'm trying to do my work. I know my first grader is just asking for help because he or she wants me in the room, but I have to do my work too. I give my first grader three tokens, or in this case, three paper clips. I tell my first grader, if you need my help or you want me to come and look at something, you have to use one paper clip. Once you've used up all three paper clips, I won't come in until lunchtime, so make sure you use your paper clips wisely. When your child asks for you to come and look at something or is asking for help, come in, ask for a paper clip, and help your child. Remind your child that there's only two more paper clips, so be careful when you use them. When your child asks again for something, make sure you take another paper clip. Now they only have one. On the third time that your child asks for something, come in, take the final paper clip and let your child know that you won't come back in again until the designated time. In this example, lunchtime. Of course, if you're concerned about safety, make sure you check on them. But in our case, a first grader can definitely handle being on their own in their room for an hour or two. You may find that your child doesn't use all three paper clips. That's because they want to keep one or two or maybe all three just in case they need them. It helps them understand the value of your time as well as the value of their time. Adjust this technique as needed. If you have questions or you're looking for a little bit more support, reach out to us. We can be emailed at hello at thrivingplay.com. We provide individualized support to families all around the country. Everything's done over phone or video chat. I hope you found this technique helpful. Share your experience in the comments below. We love to hear what worked and what needs a little bit of tweaking. Until next time, see you around.